With millions of sellers on Amazon, it shouldn't come as a surprise that not all sellers are willing to play by the rules. Some sellers use different tactics to sabotage your listing. Unfortunately, it's a reality we really can't deny. Let's talk about a way to protect your hard work and stay ahead of the hijackers. Now, before receiving brand registry for my first product, I actually had four or five rejections when I first applied. In the process of applying, I was able to learn a lot about the process as well as some of the associated benefits in being in brand registry. Now, before we go through the tutorial of how to apply for brand registry, I wanted to take some time to really explain some of the benefits associated with brand registry and how they're absolutely vital to your success when selling on Amazon. The first and one of the most important in my opinion is access to A plus content. This tool is gonna to help showcase your product through rich text and images in your description. Amazon actually ran a case study where they showed that A plus content increased conversion rates for all their customers. Next, brand registry gives you access to Amazon Live. This feature allows you to stream live videos on Amazon's homepage as well as on your listing. This really gives you a good opportunity to showcase your product and kind of how it works. A great way to boost sales is through a video. With Brand Registry, you can add videos to your product listings. Adding videos will increase conversion by helping customers understand your product a little more lively. Another great benefit of Brand Registry is access to the Amazon Vine feature. This feature provides sellers with an authentic and unbiased review. Amazon Vine allows trusted Amazon buyers to receive your products for free in return for an honest review. Next, having access to custom design storefronts is extremely valuable. This allows you to promote your brand with a custom design and showcase your brand's identity and message. Brand Registry also gives you access to sponsored brand ads. Sponsored brand ads are basically headline ads that appear in the top of the search results. These sponsored brand ads are great for getting the attention of a potential customer who is shopping within your niche. An interesting benefit of brand registry is Amazon Attributes. This tool allows you to measure the performance of external advertising and gives you a detailed analytic report to understand which non-Amazon PPC is driving the most sales. On the topic of PPC, brand registry also allows to have brand analytics. These insights can help make informed decisions for your business. Amazon search terms, repeat purchase behavior, market analytics, item comparison and alternate purchase behavior, and customer demographics are all available within brand analytics. Lastly, once you have brand registry, you can now apply for transparency. They proactively help prevent with counterfeit products and other IP infringements. There is a common misconception that once you're in brand registry, your brand is fully protected. Unfortunately, that's not true. Successfully applying to the transparency department is what's gonna protect your brand and your product. Now let's talk about the brand registry requirements. There are two major requirements that you need when applying for brand registry. The first being a trademark. This is by far one of the toughest and most confusing variables for most sellers. Don't worry, we'll get into more of that later in this video. The second requirement for your brand registry is to make sure that your logo is affixed to the product or the custom packaging for your brand. The brand registry department is pretty strict on the pictures that you send in and what they're willing to accept. During the brand registry application, I'll make sure to give you some cues to make sure that your pictures are accepted. Now, it's also important to stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm gonna go in depth and really tell you the difference between an active trademark and an in-review trademark and the brand registry accepting them. Now, regardless of whether you have an active or in-review trademark, you still need your trademark application serial number when filling out your brand registry application. Luckily, this application is pretty straightforward and easy to fill out. Once you log into the brandregistry.amazon.com website, you'll be met with a page like this and simply click Enroll Brand. Here you're met with a prompt that goes over some of the information needed. We'll go over this as they're needed in the application and go into a little further explanation. Click here for Enroll Brand. 
Here at the brand name, it's important to put the name exactly as you have it on the trademark application. Sometimes I think this can be a little confusing, so I wanna give you a detailed example of what this can look like. Let's say you're within the surfing niche and you have a company or brand called High Tide. Now, in your trademark application, you decide to take H and T and push them together to make an aesthetically pleasing logo. Now, because you made a word design with H and T, that is actually considered your brand name. So here in brand name, make sure that you put HT instead of high tide. The brand registry department will deny your application if you were to put high tide, but you had a word design for HT. In this section, make sure you keep what's selected here as the trademark as USPTO. Next, here's where you'll put the serial number for the trademark application you filed. You'll get a green check mark if the serial number you provided is correct. Next, this is where you go to upload an image of the trademark design you have created. Again, this must match what you put in for the brand name. Next, the second most important part behind the serial number, and that's the photo you submit with your brand affixed to the product or the packaging itself. After clicking next, you'll see the selling account information page. Here, you'll just click seller. Next, click the box with your Amazon ID present. Lastly, on this page, you're gonna select the category that your listing falls under. After that, you're on the third and final page, and that's distribution information. Click no to does your brand sell to distributors, and lastly, click no to the license information questions. Lastly, click submit, and good luck. Now I wanted to quickly share my experience with you guys on the first four or five applications I submitted to the brand registry department, all of which were denied. Unfortunately, the brand registry department does not have a phone service. The only way to communicate with the brand registry department is via email. Now, unfortunately, most of the responses you'll get from the brand registry department are kind of pre-composed answers that don't necessarily answer your questions. It's important to kind of keep this in mind when you're going through and interacting with them because it can be extremely frustrating when they're not giving you an answer to your question. Now to finish off this video, I wanted to touch on the most important part and that's whether you're using an active or an in review trademark when applying for brand registry. Now the difference is subtle, but very important. An active trademark is basically a trademark that the USPTO has approved. An in review trademark is one that is still pending. Now, unfortunately, this is where it gets a little confusing. Once you apply for a trademark, especially in the United States through the USPTO, it can take between 12 to 18 months before you receive an answer. Now, I know you're thinking, well, I'm not gonna sit on my hands and wait 12 to 18 months until I receive an approval to start selling on Amazon. This puts most sellers in the position to use a trademark that is in review. Now, when doing so, the main difference in the abilities or benefits that you receive from brand registry is the inability to apply for transparency. So if you have a USPTO trademark that is in review, unfortunately, you are unable to apply for transparency. Now, like we touched in the beginning of this video, transparency is the department that is proactively looking to protect your brand. Now, when you're first selling on Amazon, I personally do not believe this is as important. Yes, once you start generating hundreds of thousands of dollars in revenue and other competitors are now seeing your product and your niche and its potential, it's important to protect your brand. Your first few months selling on Amazon, realistically, I don't think you'll be doing that much volume. I hope you guys liked this video and it was helpful in understanding the main benefits of brand registry and why it's so vital to your success when selling on Amazon. If you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe and like and I'll see you in the next one.